Hi guys, welcome back to another video and I am at the UK Guitar Show and I think this is the third one that I've been to and it's at a new venue this year, a lot more vendors by the looks of things and I've managed to park right next to the door so it's pretty much time to go in. I've got my ticket, uh, let's go inside. <laughs> Paul. Hey, it's Adrian from 4PFX. How you doing, man? Uh, apparently, you've got to buy a Scarlet tunic. I've been told that you're going to do it. Uh, please do, and I'll sign it for you. But hey, there you go, Paul. So the Scarlet tunic, that's sort of Salma Treble and bass. It's, it's his thing, so okay, yeah, yeah. Be really into that. Awesome. I mean, Lee Harris is here tomorrow. Uh, we designed it for him to take on tour with sort of all the secrets. That's what I think that's where he discovered it. It's, it's all, and um, between the two of us, we, with the real theme and that going for a different amp, yeah, you couldn't tell the difference. So there you go, Paul. I'm going to buy a Dane off uh, Adrian right now, and uh, he'll remember to get your order in. So just as we were looking for a place to sit down, I've actually found a whole entire new section of the show. So let me turn you around. Yeah, you know, it's just that. 
era, and you know, there's, there's so many with the single coil thing that was on. But yeah, it's amazing we've had two and two, yeah. and both different and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. So, can yes. I leave my detail? Possibly. Uh, So you just send there a pair of uh, three hundred thousand pound Les Pauls, and not two nineteen sixties. There was one at the very back that you would have spotted, which had the like stain where the pit guard was, and that didn't have a price. And I know they've got a fifty nine, so I'm guessing that was um, their fifty nine first. just come outside for a bit of a bit of a breather I don't know if you just heard much of what I said with Dave uh, in there just now but uh, it's pretty damn intense in there it's I would say the show in general is a little bit uh, bigger in terms of venue uh, vendors but the, the venue itself is smaller so everyone's sort of like really on top of each other and getting everyone's attention and trying to fight through to have a look and yeah it's it, it takes you know you've just got to be kind of prepared and come out and have a breather from that kind of environment because it is it's pretty mad in there but like i said come out and uh, i'll go back in hopefully it'll be a bit quieter and i'll try and talk to some more people but you can see what it's like uh, inside and um yeah we'll go back in for round two
So it's not every day you buy a, uh, a, a day and then run into uh, run into Danish people. <laughs> uh, are we sliding back then, are we? Why not? Why not? Take the opportunity while you're here. What's there in on the one, Michael? Two million, five hundred thousand. Is that what that little bit of money? Yeah, not a sharpie. This thing's got having a mind of its own at the moment. Now I'm going to touch it now and uh, at the pedal. And the problem with that is it's going to get really uh, sticky because they do. They, you can't put your fingers on that. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, I'll just like there. Anywhere you are. This thing's got a mind of its own, this uh, golf ball, whatever it's called. What is that? Oh, that thing there? Yeah, a little gimbal thing's got a mind of its own. He signed it anyway, he just didn't see it, but it is signed. <laughs> yeah, it was, a bit of a, it was a bit of a... You know, we'll leave it on there. There it is. Forever to remain unseen on my motherboard. Exactly. <laughs> you put the Velcro right over that. But, but we know it's there. <laughs> exactly. We know it's there. Right, I'm going to slide that in there. I should have a pen with me, shouldn't I? So there you go then, back from the uh, back home from the guitar show. Uh, we did leave a little bit early because, you know, it was proper sort of hot in there as well and it was getting more and more busy kind of thing. But um, obviously that's the first time that show has been at, at that venue. So I thought I'd just close on some sort of thoughts about the, uh, about the new venue. And if you're going tomorrow, obviously you'll, uh, you know, a bit, know a bit more about what to expect how it's kind of laid out and to me like I said earlier on when I was there it's I think there was I definitely think there was more vendors there than than normal um but everything was sort of tightened down and like you you know you really sort of couldn't move between the stands and normally there's there's a little bit more space and I think looking at some of the vendors that were sort of you know working hard there I think that was sort of creating a little bit of a kind of tense atmosphere it might just be me and because I you know I'm not great in those kind of situations but but it was a really good show and like I said I did speak to a few more people uh, off camera but if you haven't been to shows like that before the way it usually works is that you'll have sort of half an hour of everyone playing the amps pedals whatever and then a klaxon will go off and it, the noise comes down so that's the time you want to be bumping into people if you've got a camera and sort of chatting to them but it's kind of potluck when you know I'm just kind of wandering around the show like any of you would be um, and whether that person's free and whether they want to talk on camera. So like I said, I did speak to some people on camera that you've seen and uh, a few more like Ben from Crimson uh, off camera as well. But these shows, they're always worth going to and you always have a good time. But this new venue I just felt was a little bit too kind of tightly packed and a little bit small um, compared to where, where, you know, where it normally is. Uh, the parking was a little bit better though, definitely had a little bit more space in the car park and we didn't really arrive kind of super early either and I managed to park sort of right in front of the door basically so that was uh, that was pretty handy. Um, I will do some videos on the Vox pedal that I picked up um, at the show and the Dane as well because I've been having a little play with them and yeah pretty pretty impressed with those, definitely a nice a nice uh, upgrade and um and that's pretty much all I've got to say. So thanks for watching. If you go into the show uh, tomorrow, uh, enjoy it. Let me know down below and uh, I will catch you on another video.